today is the day everyone has been waiting for today march uh, be may 8th is the tribunal first hearing an article has some things that is demanding from the tribunal before we go into all that details if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do well to subscribe turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other youtube viewers all around the world as well lastly please leave your comments in the comment section without further ado let's delve right into the details of today's news just in article makes shocking demand for election petition see what he asked for the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and Atiku Abubakar, its candidates, have asked permission to live broadcast for live broadcast of the lawsuit against President-elect Bola Tinobu as the Presidential Election Petition Court hearings get underway on Monday, that is today. The request was submitted by Atiku, who finished second in the election on february 25 through his legal team which was supervised by chief chris uche the former vice president stated that because it affects residents and voters from all 50 states and from all 30 states and the federal capital territory the case is one of national importance and the public's interest he added that the interest in Nigerians' election process is, wi is widespread worldwide. The petition further stated, and I quote, an integral part of the constitutional duty of a court to hold proceedings in public is a dis discretion to allow public access to proceedings either physically or by electronic means with the huge and tremendous technological advances and developments in Nigeria and beyond, including the current trend by these honorable courts towards embracing electronic procedures, virtual hearing and electronic filing, a departure from the rules to allow a regulated televising of a proceedings in this matter aligns with the maxim aligns with the maxim that justice must not only be done but must be seen to be done televising court proceedings is not an alien to these honorable courts and will enhance public confidence recall that article requested the withdrawal of a certificate of return issued to Tinubu by the Independent National Electoral Commission, claiming that Tinubu's election was invalid due to non-compliance with electoral law and corrupt practices. He asked the court to declare him the winner of the presidential election, having secured the second highest number of lawful votes cast. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm fully in support of, you know, what Atiku Abubakar is requesting. You know, the world is astonished to, you know, <laughs> the world is, is, a, is a modern world now. Like, techn technologically, we have advanced. In every aspect, we have advanced. And I think that, you know, that should also reflect in the court of law as well. Gone are those days when, you know, they will be having proceedings and newsmen will not be allowed in. You know, these days, everything that uh, is being done in courts, once it's a very popular case, you know, there's usually an exceptions at exceptions at times, you know, except, uh, pardon me, there, there is usually exception at times, especially considering the fact that, you know, this is a national case. People all over the world as well are interested in the outcome of a tribunal, not only in Nigeria, Nigerians outside the country, foreigners as well. A lot of people are interested, you know, to know what is 
actual what will actually go on or what will actually go down in the courtroom and not just this alone i feel that when the judges know that they are being seen all over the world once they know that you know this is just not something that you can make judgment uh, inside the closet and nobody will know when you're doing it once they know that it is being televised and people can watch live from all over the world they are more careful you know they are more careful i feel that with that you know mago mago will not easily enter because all eyes are on them people can watch from all over the world i feel that this will even it will even speed up things because according to the court it says that justice needs to be seen to be done it's not enough to know that you know justice is taking place it's also good for people to know that and see that okay this is the justice we are talking about that is happening it will be very you know encouraging for people to know that okay this is what is going on these are the proceedings these are the steps these are the processes that is going on not just for Atiku, it's also good for Tinubu, it's also good for Peter Obi, unless, you know, a party, a political party is trying to do Magu Magu, that is, the, that is the political party that would say that they do not want it to be publicized, because ordinarily, if you don't have anything you're hiding, I don't think that there's any political party that should be antagonizing this, because, you know, everything is transparent. There's nothing hidden. Everybody can see the proceedings. Everybody can see what is happening. And once the court, the judges are looking like they want to start doing what is foreign to to Nigerians or to lawyers, people will come out and interpret and say that is not right. You know, you don't do that. So it's not something that will be hidden. And you know, newsmen, new media men will not be allowed in. This time around, it is of great interest you know that this is televised and a lot of nigerians can actually see what's going on let me know what you all think in the comment section subscribe if you haven't thank you very much for always watching for always subscribing the new 100 and something subscribers that just joined us you're welcome to the community keep subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up if you haven't already i'll see you in my next video guys Bye for now.